and they're about two miles from me, so I'm hitting back up top mountain here. Hey, some got miserable cold here. My GPS is starting to die. I'm somewhere between eight to ten miles so far today. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Well, this Why? is uh, first morning hunting out of the new place. If you aren't sure what I'm talking about, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and go check out my other video. But get the dogs loaded up and go try to find us some bears this morning. I'm going to meet. Let's see. My dad's going. Little Jeff's going. Uh, is going. It's a few of us getting together and hunting today, so we just met be good together, have a little breakfast. Listen to guys that are hunting, and uh, I'm gonna get ready to get some collars on. It's getting daylight, and uh, go try to find a spare. Great right, scrub. Well, my guy, most the dogs collared up, and uh, I'm gonna head up, head up the road a couple miles to a place that I haven't hunted yet this year. We'll head up here, get some dogs off, and uh, start walking this morning. See if we can't get a bear jumped up. 21 degrees showing right now. It was 18 when I got up this morning. So it's chilly. It's cold. It's cold this morning. We're getting ready to go in some pretty rough country there. Okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Or Tori. Come on. Oh, mini. Julie, y'all calm down. Oh, I'm pulling up a steep ridge. I ain't hit the real steep part of it yet. Man, I'm getting ready to. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna pull all the way up it or just start scaling around the side. Kind of going through thickets and stuff. Uh, places that a lot of times we'll bear lay. But dogs are full of it this morning. I ain't had a good chase in a couple days. So they're, they're definitely ready to roll. Wouldn't surprise me if I don't have some kind of off chase. A coyote or deer or something. These young dogs, but we'll see. What are you doing, Sally? What are you doing, Sally? Come oh, on there, Julie. And Dottie. Huh? Dudley, Minnie. What y'all doing? Huh? Oh, I had to stop. I'm gonna shed some clothes. Thermometer when I left the truck in the Holloway's parked in said 20 degrees. I'm warming up now. Just pulling up through this country. I heard one of my pups start barking. I don't know if she jumped a deer. Walk around here closer to my pup and check this track she's started. Just check it with my little bit more dependable dogs. My pup's a young dog. Never, never of a shocker off anything. So, I fully expect him to go through a spell where they'll run. Stuff. Anyway, we'll see. There's some rough terrain here. Got this steep, man. Sally, yeah. Well, I got on top of this ridge where my 
pup was going over and uh, my older dogs ain't said a word. So as far as bark, they ain't let me know that there's no scent here. So I didn't have to tone, shock, nothing, my pup. Basically, once I got within hearing distance of her, these dogs run down and met her. She was down there still going on. They run down and met her. They didn't say a word. And then they come back, just brought her right back with them. So that's a good thing. Good learning experience for the pup too. She's really young, so I'm not worried at all about I'm going to keep pulling this ridge. I hear them just getting in here in distance of Corey and them. They're coming in a different way. We're on a big piece of land today, and uh, we're all kind of coming in at me. And I'm coming in one way, Jeffrey is coming in one way, and then Corey's coming in one way. And we're miles apart, but we're kind of hitting all of us in the same general direction. So we'll see how it plays out. It's really steep. I'm not even near the top of it. Much of a morning update here, but I kind of forgot all about the camera. We're trying to walk in here a little bit. Me, George, and Corey split up a couple of ways. Me and Dad's walking in this trail here. Let's see if we can get some, find something from here. But I had to stop and shed a layer of clothes here. It's pretty cool out here this morning, but we're hitting on top of the mountain, so we're carrying a whole pile of stuff with us. Trying to stay warm before we get a stand for a while, so. Dress way too warm to leave the truck, but we'll probably need again once we get up top here. Top's up on top of the hill here, on top of the mountain part here. Got to where we can talk some of them. Corey's got one trail and come up right underneath us here, so we're gonna try to see if we can just let them trail for a minute here, keep behind them. Maybe try to get some more dogs and help them once they start getting going here. Decent stuff. So keep working away well, here. Well, I got up here real high and topped over a ridge, and I can hear, uh, I can hear Corey's dogs trailing. I talked to him just a minute ago and he said, yeah, he's on a decent trailing track. So if you can see behind me, he's over on that next knob. So long ways. I'm looking at the GPS. The dogs are, Corey's dogs are exactly, it's showing exactly a mile away. And I'm hearing them plain as day. And like I say, oh, like I was saying earlier, all my dogs left me and they're going all the way through this country. Yeah, across two two ridges and then pull up a creek and then pull up on the next kind of we call it the next mountain really <clears throat> but honestly i think they're gonna make it all the way through there and the reason is is Corey's dogs are up pretty high you can hear them good um and they're giving a lot of mouth this morning they're barking a lot on track and they're not moving very fast i mean it's old track but it's interesting how on like this is a really cool morning we haven't got no good chase going in the last uh, probably two days. The dogs are fresh and uh, it's pretty neat just seeing how much mouth they give. And when I say mouth, how much, how much they're doing a lot of barking, but not, not moving hardly at all. I mean, just picking trailing, but I mean, Scruffy's up here by herself, but we're in a good, good spot just to hear good chases and stuff. So I'm gonna find a place here in the sun and uh, just kind of see how all this plays out. And by the way, if y'all wanna, if y'all wanna see how this hunt plays out, uh, how a lot of my other hunts that I got on here, um, subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up and hit the little. Yeah, Fred, that kind of pulling up towards you. Bell. Somewhat. That was Corey. He said his dogs are kind of pulling around the mountain up towards Jeffrey, which is way across from me. So, anyway, we'll see how this plays out. Hopefully we'll get this bear jumped up here in a little bit. I do enjoy a tree and a bear. Obviously that's that's our end goal. This to me this is what hound hunt's about. Perched up on this big rock. Jeffrey. I'm about no oh, probably Yeah, go ahead. 3,500 feet in uh, elevation. It looks like they're gonna cross the trail. You want some of these numbers? And uh Yeah, let me get some of that. Can't beat listening, you know, overnight track and they're working it. 
getting hung up a good bit, but steadily they're picking it and keeping it moving. So anyway, we'll see how it plays out. All right. We got it pretty high now, of course. I don't think we'll ever catch Corey now up here. Or I mean, not Corey, but his dogs. They're probably two or three miles out in front of us. So we'll just keep working away here, see if they kick anything out, see if we can strike something else up, get something going with these here. Basically, all my dogs made it all through this country. They got up there and met with Corey's. And uh, kind of like typical, they, they kind of blew the track up there for a few minutes. When I say blow the track up, I mean they got a bear. Uh, all of a sudden they smell a little bit of bear scent. They're excited. They see all these other dogs and uh, they just get to running around. And then Corey's dogs, they see, you know, mine are all of a sudden arriving on the scene. And uh, pretty much it just causes a mess for a few minutes. So, but it looks like they're getting getting settled out. Kind of, some of them are lining on out and uh, trailing on. So, hopefully they're going in some really good terrain. Hopefully we'll have this bear jumped here in a little while. I believe they just jumped this bear. Or if they didn't jump it, they're getting where they're trailing really good. So we'll see. This ice that y'all can see in the background. It's the reason we ain't hunted in this country for a couple days. Uh, it's been iced, all iced in. And uh, while we can get around vehicle and stuff wise in it, this ice uh, tears the dog's feet up. So it's not worth uh, running them in this stuff. It's pretty much melted off the ground now, so we're good to go. Well, I've been walking for 20 minutes. The dogs are, they're just straight. They're just rolling now. They've actually got so far out, I can't even pick them up anymore. So I'm just headed straight in that general direction. I got a hold of my dad, which is still, he's still out in the road. And he's going to drive around this mountain the other side and see if he can let us know. So, long story short, got a long walk ahead of me. Uh, me, Jeffrey, Corey, Uncle Jeff, we're in the woods, and the dogs just went straight away from us. So, uh, we gotta, we just gotta keep heading in, uh, heading in that general direction. Uncle and them, they're across, oh, about a mile from me. Kind of headed, we're all headed up, and we're one general way. So, my dad's driving around, hopefully. To be able to let us know where these dogs have went to or where they're going. So, we'll all see. Right, we're getting up pretty high in elevation now. Getting up to where all the ice to it has never melted off. So, getting me a little bit of mess here. But, those other dogs now, of course, we are cleared picture. I think last time I picked them up, they was like almost three miles from us. So, we're kind of just going on so we can find our own track now. I think we try to get through this ice, top over one part here. Drop back down out of this ice stuff, so try to keep the dogs out of this mess as much as possible. Man, it's a horrible mess up here right now, all this ice. Some places here, this ice parts hang off trees like an inch thick. And it's broken stuff everywhere and fight away through stuff. So. Well, try yeah. to keep the dogs out here as quick as possible. I see it's a mess right now. But we'll get there sooner or later. Well, I said we just popped up here on top of and now the Trixie just hit one up here and kind of trailed off the backside towards where we just come out of there, but we didn't strike on the other side, so I'm hoping it's down in here, but. Right, it's, she's slowly picking up a little bit. She's definitely still trailing, it's old, but she's starting to pick up with it a little bit now, so. It looks like she's going pretty good with it. Of course, we can't talk to anybody let them know we're trying to get one going here, so I guess we'll keep up the best we can with it and see what happens here. The dog's just kind of, kind of just beelined out of here, and we're, we're way back in. We're way back in. It's a pretty rough country, so 
almost feels like back when I was hunting when I was younger. I'm not that old now, but um, back when I was younger, the elementary days and stuff. So we have no idea where the dogs are. We got an idea which way they went, and we're just having to head in that direction. See if we can find them. So pretty interesting. I wouldn't want to go back to the elementary days, but it's pretty neat just being in these situations for a little while, and then it gets old. But pretty neat. It makes you kind of remember back. So. Anyway, I'm gonna get up on top of this ridge, up on top of this big knob. I'm almost up on this. Can you see? I ain't had a haircut in a while and I'm sweating. Just cross that, that road or the main holler or whatever, that branch or whatever. Looks like you just crossed it. Okay. Well, Dad's helping me narrow down where they are. And hopefully, why are you across this big, that six this dog next big ridge? Right now. <coughs> hopefully, I'll, I'll go pick them up myself. Well, I'm headed on. Um, dogs are still going straight away from me. So, I'm way up here in the middle of nowhere. So I'm just going to keep on, keep on going. We had been hunting the low woods trying to stay out of this ice because, kind of what I was saying before, this ice is terrible on dog's feet. And I hate we're up here in it now, but we can't control where the bear goes. This ice is melting off here. Me and Scruff's having to dodge icicles falling. Well, it's been a while since I turned the camera on, and thank we are in the process of being outrun. The dogs are just kind of petering out. What I mean is, is they're not running. Basically, the dogs aren't running to catch anymore. Um, they're they're getting kind of tired, which is fine. That's you know, to be expected as far as they went. Yeah. Long story short, I believe the bears want to win today. I don't know if you heard there or not, but they didn't cross. They dropped all the way off the mountain, crossed the road on the bottom of the mountain. And we just finally got to where we talked to somebody. I don't know. We got a pup trying to come up over the other side, so try to run all the way back around real quick, see if we can get over here, catch a puppy up, and then try to get a track on these dogs. We haven't hardly been able to track them. I got a little lost pup down here that it's the first time she's ever been out. She ended up going the ways the dogs got stuck down the hall in here, so I'm trying to holler at her to get her back up here. and I can hear her bawling down her now, so I think she hears me, so we'll see if she comes up here in a minute. Making me have to walk all the way down this hall and get her, she's like 650 yards down here, so. It's pretty steep, I can get back out of here, so. But anyways, part of hunting. Sent one of my dogs to head with me down to where she was barking in Lost Parks, and sent him down with him to see if he'll get her up, bring her back up to her to me, so. We'll see if it works or not, hopefully it does. Is you down there lost, huh? Is you down there lost? Huh? Is you down there lost? What do you think? Let's see if I can find the rest of the dogs. We got two dogs going one way on the mountain and we got two of them going the other way. So, Let's see if we can figure out where we gotta go and what we gotta do. I think Corey's got a couple dogs to it too. So, Let's see if we can get all his. All well, uh, so I got back to Dad picked me up took me back to my truck um, basically the dogs uh, on the other side of the mountain flipped back over this side and uh, they could hear my voice if I yelled so um, I got around there and just yelled yelled pretty much most of the dogs off here to me so uh, I'm headed around now to check on Uncle Jeff they had a track on earlier sounds like they kind of run into the exact same thing that we're going through just got out running basically Jeffrey's headed around to get his. He thinks they've done quit. It's supposed to get cold tonight. He's gonna do whatever he's got to do to get up to him, get him, get him out of there. Even though it's gonna be, he'll be in pitch dark coming out. He's got a long ways to go. They're way back in some pretty big country, and then um, I'm gonna see where he's going to mount. I'm gonna try to pick him up and get him back to his fish truck. As you can see, I'm still on top of the mountain. We've got all the dogs off except for like two of them. And they're about two miles from me, so I'm heading back up the top of the mountain here. It's gotten miserable cold here. Wind started blowing. We'll get them because it's cold enough. I ain't gonna leave them up here tonight or anything. So we're gonna walk first see if I can get them up out of here. And it's getting dark quick. Sun's starting to set here. 
I only got probably another 20 minutes of daylight. And I got probably another half an hour to go get to them. Should be good. I got a headlamp with me, so at least I'll be enough to get me out of here. Hey. Come on, Trixie. Come on. What y'all doing? Y'all tired? Huh? Well, come here, y'all. What are y'all doing? Huh? What are y'all doing? What? Are y'all don't worry? Y'all chasing old bears? Huh? Why? Y'all weren't chasing old bears? <laughs> What's up, dude? All right, finally made it on the ridge. Found off of here. Now it's just a half mile. All right, straight down. Make some tire pups. Can't really stop too much. They want to lay down for the night, but I think I'll leave them up here, so I gotta keep them going. Almost there. I see the truck lights down below me. I think Dad's down here waiting on me, so. Get back in the truck here. I think all of us dogs, I think we've raised tired. We'll all go home to bed. Sleep good. Better than that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Thank you.